Okay, here is part two to the last video. I mean, not last video, but you know what I mean. Last video of these towers. Here they all are at night. I'm going to show you every single night mode. Starting off with the first candelabra. As you can see, um, it has the 20 flash per minute night mode because it has the Vanguard LEDs. Vanguard high intensity LEDs. I think those are, those might be called, um, 270s maybe I, I forgot and then over here um, we got that tiny tower that tiny red and white tower that either had FH 307s or FH 309s back then but now has FTS 370s that's on night mode now it also has a classic FTS 370 night mode just like the candelabra and then here's a little bit of surprise um, so I was right about the LEDs and it has a good night mode too. It doesn't have any, doesn't have like the other two night modes, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It has the best night mode, in my opinion. And not only that, but it actually has working markers. Like, working markers on any sort of tower, just, just so weird. So weird nowadays. Like, back then it was um, normal and common and stuff, but nowadays it's just rare to see. Especially on towers that have multiple sets of beacons, like this TV tower here. It's a little weird. If only the candelabra still had its markers when it had its um, back, um, just like when it had its, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's, let's stop. Okay. There's that. And then the next tower is that, uh, that gray TV tower or something that had the high intensity strobes. Here it is on day mode. As you can see, I mean, I meant to say night mode. And as you can see, it shines white. So yeah, there's that. Next up we have the second candelabra and I have some bad news about this one, I think. Actually, no. I, wow, okay, that, that's better than what I thought. So, the second candelabra still has its original beacon set up. And um, at first when I, when I saw it, I thought they shut off the markers, but you can see one set of markers uh, just working. The other one, the other set is not working. That's what threw me off. So uh, now that I know that they still do work, but one of them's not working at the moment, that that's uh, it's pretty nice to know. Because I thought they were shut off. So there it is at night. You know, it would be nice if one of the beacons were malfunctioning, like one of the high intensity strobes was on its own night mode, or if it is stuck on day mode, maybe. That would be, that'd be pretty cool, but just a basic 100% night mode is nice too. We have that red and white mass tower, the other one. This is the one that still has its 300 millimeters, and um, some weird stuff's happening, so 300 millimeter at top markers below it and then that third light I don't know if those are markers or uh, another 300 millimeter I'm not really sure it's kind of weird and then below that is another 300 millimeter it's kind of weird I, I bet that third light is a 300 millimeter maybe possibly I'm not sure and then we got that one tower or I mean those two towers 324 is on the first tower Com don't com they don't work completely. I was hoping that they uh, they would at least work for night mode, but nope. The tower behind it, the tall TV tower, uh, I was wrong about that tower too. I thought it had three sets of white only LEDs, but it actually only has two sets. So there's that. As you can see, they're white only, and they have the same flash rate as day mode. So um, it's almost the same, but. Um, it's dimmer because it's night mode. Then next up we have the third candelabra, my favorite one, and then you can still see the monopole that makes the candelabra looks cool, makes it look cooler when they're right next to each other. I mean, when they're in the middle of each other and stuff. So there it is, and I was also wrong about this. When I said that it might have markers, well, it doesn't. That's why I said it might have markers, but it sadly has no markers at all. But there it is, as you can see, 30 flash per minute night, night mode. Um, I forgot to mention this in the last video, I think, but this tower here used to have high intensity strobes and 
possibly 300 millimeters. Um, when I first saw its old beacon setup, I clearly saw 300 millimeters in the middle of the tower by the high intensity strobes, but recently when I looked at it again, I, I couldn't find them. So it might have only shined white back then, I don't know. I had to find some old video of this area, but that will probably be very hard. So this night mode not, might not be um, accurate to the original night mode, maybe, I don't know. It's a little weird, but I like to uh, I like to believe that it had strobes in 300 millimeters back then because um, it makes this candelabra look so much cooler than it already is. And it's also nice because we only have three candel we only have three candelabras in Missouri, so some variety is nice because the other two candelabras had the same beacon setups for the longest time. And this one stood out because it was different. And then there's that lattice tower, it's an ILS 3600, it's on night mode too, and it does have flashing sign markers, I was right about that. And it has a 30 flash in night mode too, so um, I was right about that too. You know, I actually I don't remember telling you guys that, maybe I did, I don't know. Um, uh, here's a little fun fact, there's actually a modulator tornado siren right there, like right next to the tower. You can kind of see it. It looks like a white streak. Um, then over here we got the, the AM tower area. As you can see, all the 300 millimeters work. And they look all so nice and stuff. Like It's pretty cool. Pretty cool seeing them all at night. And I was right about the markers. It only has just one set of markers for each tower. So that's pretty cool. That looks so much better. Alright. Then finally we have the last two towers. Oh, we need to move a little bit. There. So we got the KCTV5 tower. It's on night mode. It only shines white. And then the tower next to it. Um, I don't know the name of it. But I'll look it up for the, the previous video of it. And all that stuff. So um, I can... So I can put the names of both towers in the video title. So there's there there they are. They both look white when this when the screen's dim. All right, now the one looks red. So yep, red LEDs and white only high intensity strobes. And that's about it, really. Let's just get just a shot of every single one before the video ends. And the stadium is putting off a lot of pollution, a lot of light pollution, which is not very helpful. Oh well. Okay, there's everything. Um, I will be filming these. Uh, I will be filming these on night mode again tomorrow because I don't know if I'm ever going to be back in this hotel again and all that stuff like. I have a feeling next time we stay in um, Kansas City, we're probably going to be in a completely different hotel. So I want to make two videos of these towers on night mode. Maybe two videos of them out on day mode again, I don't know. But, eh. Alright. So, see y'all later. Bye.